firefighters on the ground are doing what they can to gain the upper hand on those two major wildfires. They're getting help from above from a team of aircraft. It's an impressive operation to get those planes in the air as quickly as possible. KCRA3's Tom Miller visited a busy McClellan airfield to see a fleet that dates back to World War II. It's a pit stop for planes. You're going, 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 going constantly. From the moment the wheels touch down, CAL FIRE's crews race to refuel, reload, and get these aircraft back in the sky. 18-year-old Kyle Moreno helps guide CAL FIRE's planes at Sacramento's McClellan Airfield. Just two months on the job, he knows being up to speed is vital. Definitely a sense of urgency. We're trying to get these fires wrapped, so we're always trying to hurry and get these planes loaded and going to the fires. The five planes in rotation make just one drop before heading back for more. From the runway to the RAG and Kyber's fires is only about a half hour round trip. Inside, it's bare bones. The lighter the plane, the faster it flies. So right now we're actually inside this Lockheed Neptune. It was a post-World War II bomber that's since been converted to help fight fires. Brad Rubel is this Neptune P2V's pilot, responsible for accurately dropping the 2,000 gallons of retardant on board. The fire is active. It's alive. It's moving. And if you're not there, if you're not getting there as quick as you can, by the time you get back, it could be everything you did could be to no avail. He's working to prevent that from happening at the wildfire in Kybers. Helping him is the 25-member ground crew, who say the airport's atmosphere isn't all that different from a firehouse. They sit and there's, they're waiting for calls and waiting for calls, and all of a sudden the call comes and, and the adrenaline kicks in, and then, then you're busy. Busy in a race against the clock, knowing every second planes are grounded is when they're unable to slow down the flames. In Sacramento, Tom Miller, KCRA 3 News.